What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Uncrowned Otaku. Hey! Latest chapter, Epo came out, and this is exactly what I was talking about before. You see what this chapter did to us? It's giving, well, not to us, to y'all. It's giving y'all hope. The beginning of the chapter is giving y'all hope that Epo might make a comeback to boxing. You see Sendo, Vogue, Vogue's coach, they're talking about why is Epo getting new forms, and the coach is saying if Epo and and coach kamagawa if they stop hesitating and if they can pull the trigger then maybe there could be a return to boxing they're giving you all this unnecessary hope but then i want you to realize what happens at the end of this chapter where you're seeing outside forces say he could definitely make a comeback all they need to do is xyz maybe if there's an external trigger or there might be a trigger already in arm's reach but then we get it firsthand at the end of the chapter, we get Epo himself saying, if I can just show people the greatness of boxing now, that's what I'm that's what I'm dedicating my life to now. Pretty much he didn't say it exactly like that, but he said something very similar. And you see Wally repeat it. He says, Oh, now, huh? Well, that's great. We need people to teach boxing as well. If Miguel wasn't here to teach me, I wouldn't be in the boxing world. So I want you guys to realize what happened here. External forces, people that aren't the coach, people that aren't Epo, outsiders are saying, yeah, Epo could totally make a comeback. He's got all the tools necessary. This is why he should do it. And maybe if this happened and then you have Epo himself saying, I'm not boxing anymore. I'm coaching now. I want to show people the greatness of boxing through my coaching techniques. So that's what that's what's kind of been teased at us this whole time. Other people thinking Epo's going to come back to boxing. Epo himself, the man himself saying, I'm not a boxer anymore. I'm retired. I'm now coaching. That's what, And that's why I'm giving up hope. Epo's not going to make a return to boxing. And I keep trying to tell y'all that because you're, you're pinning your hopes on people that aren't Epo. Epo himself is saying he's retired. Until Epo gives me any inkling that he really wants to return, I'm not buying into this. And the author's going to keep doing this to y'all because y'all keep falling for it. Hook, line, and sinker until everybody realizes, oh, Epo hasn't once shown me that he wishes to get back into the ring. You just got to give that. You got to give that up. Epo doesn't want to box. Epo wants to train the next generation of boxers now. Yes, he still upgraded himself because boxing was all Epo knew. Before Epo was a boxer, he was getting bullied in school. So, Epo, all he knows is that life. He can't just change the way he trains. He can't just change what he does on his daily routine because from, from high school to now, that's all he's done. And he's not going to stop doing it because it's his pattern of life. It's his daily routine. So, while, yes, he's going to evolve the Dempsey role, while, yes, he's going to get stronger, he's going to gain more stamina, he's doing that because it's what he does. He's not doing that because he wants to return to boxing. And while I agree with a lot of you, he could return. He's got the power. He's got skill. He's got technique. He's not going to return because what also happened in this chapter is Wally asked him, why did you stop? And Epo said, well, there was this thing. And he doesn't elaborate on what the thing is. And that strikes me as being one of two potential things that happened. One being his last match when he realized he was suffering symptoms that could lead to him being punch drunk, same as Nakota. It stopped him from wanting to box again. That That's what I hope he's thinking about. The second being his stupid promise to stupid Kumi, which is why we got the hashtag after Kumi going right now. Because if that's what really is preventing him, if he's letting a promise to this chick who can't even get her own brother to stop boxing, but has the nerve to ask somebody that's not related to her to, hey, you should stop boxing. That's whack as all hell. And I'd lose respect to Epo for that, honestly. So I hope it's the fact that he knew if he kept boxing, he would go down the same road as, as Nakota did, and it would honestly ruin his daily life. He wouldn't be able to do the things he normally does, and Epo's mom needs him in peak condition, honestly. For that fishing, for the fishing boat, for the business, Epo's mom really needs him in top condition as well. But that that's what I'm thinking. And again, if Epo showed any signs of himself really wanting to become a boxer again, really wanting to go for the world title, I would be all for it. I would have a little hope then. 
But everybody, Ifo has never once said, I want to go back to being a boxer. Ifo has never once showed interest in hopping back into the ring professionally. So for everybody who wants Ifo to make a comeback, why when the man himself doesn't want to have a comeback yet? That's all I'm saying. The hope we're getting is false hope from, from external factors, from third-party people. And we got we to gotta push that to the side because they aren't as invested as the coach and as Ifo himself. And both of them are pretty set in Ifo being a trainer. But that's just my point of view. And I already know what a lot of people are going to say in the comments, but still, give me your point of view. How'd you like this week's chapter? Comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to all our social media jazz. I'm still a little sick, but I'm getting a lot better compared to the video I did yesterday. So, you know, two thumbs up for the, the, the speedy recovery, the path to greatness we're returning to. Uncrowned Kingdom, I've been your boy, the Uncrowned Otaku. That's the fire that keeps the kingdom burning safe. I'll never retire like Epo did. Mm -mm. Not as long as this don't go out. Peace.